Well, hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, thank you for everyone who took the time to leave a like or a comment on my last video and to all my new subscribers, hello. Especially thank you to those of you who uh, gave me advice about my knees. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a little better place with it this week and as a matter of fact, I am getting into the ballroom studio on Saturday. Um, so fingers crossed for that, but I'm so excited to be back and um, I got to go in and sit with uh, the owner and one of the other instructors for a while uh, earlier this week just to talk about where things are and where I want to go from here and I feel like we've got a plan in place and it was so good to see them and I'm back baby and I'm super excited about it. Um, so I actually got quite a bit of stitching done this week. Um, so we'll have a quick whip update for you, uh, but first let's jump right into some stitch email. Um, I've got a lot of things. Some of this will come become clearer what I'm planning to do with it when I get into plans because I do have something a little bit special coming up, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So the first thing I got was my um, special orders from Mystic finally were able to get here. Um, postal service, gotta love it. Uh, so I have finally now the piece of nothing that I am planning to do the wonders of the solar system stitch along on. And um, hopefully I will get into that this week. Magical Stitches seems kind of light this week, so I'm hopeful that I might get a chance to actually do something on that. Uh, the other thing I got was I ended, I got a half yard of diversity, which is kind of a neutral grayish tan. Um, this was originally intended for the Supernatural Stitch Along. Um, Kat, who is designing it, has since come out and said that she's going to do things a little bit differently. Um, so I'm kind of on standby to wait and see what she's going to do with that. I think she was talking about breaking it up into three smaller pieces, maybe. Um, and that's not a big deal because with a half yard of diversity, I can cut this up and use it for other projects. In fact, there's one other thing I could probably do with it right now. Um, but anyway, it's here, it's a lovely neutral, and I've got a ton of it, so there's no way that this won't get used. The next thing that arrived was my, the next installment of Tiny Modernist's uh, Zodiac Signs Mystery Series. So this month we're doing Pisces. And I am loving the colors on this. Uh, just the more that we go, I'm like I'm still working Aquarius right now, and you'll see it in a minute when we get to my whip update. But I just these colors are gorgeous, especially against the fabric that I chose for it. Yes, yes, the one I hated when I first got it. Um. So yeah, that's that. The final thing I got was for one of my special projects coming up. I got. And I just realized that the, um, I didn't bring the patterns down with me. So I will try to throw those in when I edit, uh, right about here. Uh, and though, so I went ahead and got the colors for those. All three of them require exactly the same colors. And this is all but one color. So we'll see if you can see. These are all Weeks Dye Works. And you can see I've got Aztec Red. There's the Blackboard. Dirt Road. Hibiscus, which I already have actually for Grimm's Fairy Tales, but I figured I'd order another skein because I don't know how much of that I'm gonna use for Grimm's Fairy Tales. 
um, I might use it all. Hunter. Lichen. Sockeye. And Verdigree. And I think I just showed you the patterns, but I don't think I told you those are for hands-on designs, Flamingo Christmas ornament pat patterns that came out last year. Uh, and I will talk more about them when I get to future plans. And since, as I said, I don't like floss to ride alone because it seems silly to pay that much shipping. Um, I got this from uh, crossstitchingsupplies.com, which by the way, I love. Uh, they are located not too far from me. I can place an order and two days is a long time for it to get to me. A lot of times if I place it in the morning and Lindsay mails it that day, I have it the next day. So when I can order from her, I prefer to. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's a lot of shipping for just a little bit of floss. So I, I throw in a pattern. And so I got Tiny Modernist Words to Live By Part 7. which I'm sure you can see, but it says, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. Um, so that means now I have two through seven. So I have six out of the 13 for that pattern. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned before that the goal with that is eventually to make all 13 pieces and then I'm going to learn to quilt and I wanna put them on a quilt. So of course I'm a long ways off because I'm working on part two and um, I, I haven't picked it up in months. I need to get that one in the rotation, I guess. So anyway, and that brings me to my last piece of stitchy mail, which is actually not haul or stash or anything like that. This is actual stitchy mail from a stitchy friend, uh, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, for those of you that don't, you really should be watching The Sea Dragon's Lair. Um, I really enjoy uh, watching her videos. She works on a lot of fun stuff. Um, and recently she did a giveaway. I'm not sure uh, if you're familiar with the Traveling Humbug, but here is what it is. It is this pattern. It's a humbug and this is the traveling humbug. So this goes from person to person. Uh, how it happened, uh, Kira at the Series Dragons Lair got this from Jesse and Miss Lage Pages. Uh, and the rule is once you receive it, you stitch it, you post a picture of the finished product on Instagram and then you are obliged to pass the pattern along. And so Kira passed the pattern on to me. So this is the first time you'll see the traveling humbug, but it won't be the last. So my plan is to work this into my stitching projects in the next few weeks, get this done, and then I will be passing this along. So if you are interested in receiving the traveling humbug, again, the rules are once you get it, you have to stitch it. You have to post a picture to your Instagram if you have one, and you have to pass it on. Uh, I will be giving this pattern away on my floss tube uh, within the next couple weeks after I finish stitching the humbug. So if you're interested in receiving the humbug, subscribe button's down there. Don't forget to click the little bell to remind you when I post a video. And we will run a giveaway for this pattern when I am finished. But at the same time, Kira also sent me a beautiful card, which I wouldn't be surprised if she made. It's little cacti and succulents, and it says bloom where you're planted. And if you've been following Kira on Sea Dragon's Lair, she's learning how to crochet. And she's been crocheting these little crochet hearts, and so she sent me one. And it's adorable. 
and I'm so jealous of your crochet skills because we've proven that I can't do that. So thank you so much, Kira. Um, it's, I'm having fun already. I can't wait to stitch this. I can't wait to pass it on. So there we go. There's my stitch email for the week. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into whips. Um, first off, thank you so much to Linda for giving me the suggestion about how to fit Defying Gravity into the Magical Stitches prompts this week. That's what I went with. So I did actually get a chance to work on Defying Gravity this week. And I didn't get very far because it was one prompt, so it was about 300 stitches. Um, all told, I... I actually got in over 2,000 stitches this week. I was proud of myself, that's a lot for me. But here is where Defying Gravity is. And as soon as my camera reconnects, there we go. So what I did was I, when I had showed it to you last time with the page finish, I actually still had some green and some black from finishing in the bottom attached. So I finished those off. And then I went up here because I'm gonna do this page first. Um, so yeah, I'm just barely starting my way across the top and working on the word think. I think this week I am going to use this for a magical stitches prompt. One of the prompts is, um, something that is important to you that you would sacrifice to your god godly parents and one thing that I absolutely love. Um, that I think this would kind of represent is I'm a huge Broadway nerd. I usually get season tickets to Broadway in Indianapolis. Uh, and then before coronavirus hit, I was trying to go at least once a year to New York uh, to see shows. And I've seen a couple that I really enjoyed. I've gotten to see Bernadette Peters in Hello, Dolly. Um, I got to see Jeremy Jordan in Waitress. Um, I saw both parts of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and I saw Frozen with the original cast. So that is one thing that I that is important to me that I would be willing to sacrifice to my Godway parent. Godly parent is my Broadway tickets. So hopefully they'll accept that. One of the other prompts this week was to work on something that contained sand and it was a bonus if you could actually work all 300 stitches on sand and I happen to have the perfect beachy pattern for that. And I just realized I left all of my patterns upstairs so I will try to insert pictures later on like right here. So this is High Tides and Good Vibes by Sue Hillis Designs, and um, yeah, here's where I've gotten to. So as you can see, I got all 300 of my stitches in on sand. I'm probably going to use this one again this week because one of the prompts for Magical Stitches this week is something that could contain plumbing or a toilet. And so I'm assuming the little camper will have at least a, a camp toilet. So this is done on 16 count April showers from Be Stitch Me. I also managed to fix Fitted, uh, fit my other big project into the Magical Stitches prompts this week. Uh, one of the prompts was to work on something that contains an object in blue. And deal struck. Obviously has some blue in it. CL's unmarked eye is blue as well as his jacket. And even though it doesn't look like it in that picture, it looks green. His hair is actually blue as well. Uh, shades of like a slate blue. So this is where I was last time. Well, I thought you just said you worked on it, Carrie. Where, what do you mean this is where you were last time? Um, 
We got bonus points for working all 300 stitches on the blue. And one of the beautiful things about using Easy Grid Fabric and Pattern Keeper is I was able to count down exactly to where the blue of the jacket started and get all 300 stitches in in the blue. So it's way down here, way down there. Okay, there we go. And it looks almost black, but those are very dark navies. So, and that just get, again, gives you an idea of exactly how huge this thing is. So, I got 300 stitches on, done on it and now it's at 0.08% complete. Why, why did I do this to myself? Now the last three stitches for magical, or the last three prompts for magical stitches, uh, one of them I took a penalty and the two other ones actually fit the prompts, but they all ended up being on the same whip because penalty this year is done on your oldest whip. And my oldest is last year's Clouds Factory Stitch Along Grimm's Fairy Tales. So I put in 900 stitches on this baby this week. And in doing so, I completely finished September, which was Puss in Boots. And I started on March, which, which is Hansel and Gretel. So here's where I'm at. Here's the whole thing. And then I'll go ahead and stand up so that you can see Puss in Boots there at the bottom. And then I just barely started Hansel and Gretel. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. All I got done is this little bit of grass right here. But I will be working on this one again this week because the third and final Magical Stitches prompt this week is to work on something that has a flag on it. And you can see there's a flag on the castle here, there's a flag on the carriage, there's a flag on the castle here. So, flags. Uh, prompts this week are 400 stitches, so between those three prompts I should do 1200 stitches and then anything that's left. We'll go on what I want to work on. And this week I got done and had a little bit time of time left to work on a couple of things that I wanted to work on. The first one being we do Disney and unfortunately I don't have a picture of this one for you because it is um, no longer on the vendor's Etsy store. So I can't just pull a picture off the internet to show you. But you get the gist. It's in this house, we blah, 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 blah. Because in this house, we do Disney. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot more done. I s pretty much, I already had this part done, the you can do it, and then the faith and trust. Um, stupid watch is not connecting. Uh, oh well, I hope you can see this. But anyway, down here at the bottom, I'm working on metallic pixie dust. Uh, but I decided, and it wasn't just because of the metallics, although that was part of it, um, because we all know they're a pain in the butt to work with. I decided I wanted, I like what I've done with Defying Gravity where I worked up to the top left corner and started working my way down, I decided I really like that. So I started counting up. And so what this is actually going to say when you get done is if you can dream it, you can do it. And then over here, there's a um, magic wand. So I'm working my, I'm trying to work my way back up to the top of this and then start my way down. And this is originally uh, charted for black thread on white 
that's way too boring for Disney. So I, this is a 16 count Midnight Gray by Vitelt. Um, and then most of the color is, most of this is gonna be done in B5200, so it's got kind of a chalkboard look. But then for some of the quotes, uh, I'm gonna take from for the movies that they came from, so like obviously Peter Pan, I've got this Peter Pan green. Um, I'm going to do colors that kind of represent the movies to me for each of those sayings. So yeah, this one is a gift, um, but it's a long ways off. So it's not even on the giving horizon yet. But I had promised Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole, again, check her floss tube out, uh, is working on a beautiful version of We Do Disney, a different one than this. Uh, and I said that every time she pulls it out, I, I, I get an itch to work on this one. And she said, do it. So there you go. And then last but not least, I have been working more on Tiny Modernist Zodiac Stitch Along. Uh, I got another 300 stitches in on this, uh, still working on Aquarius. But now I've got all of her hair and most of her body completed. And I really hope you can see this because my watch has stopped connecting and I can't see. It's just a blurred mess. Um, let me see if I can bring it back. Aha, there we go. So there she is. She is gorgeous. Again, I'm still loving these colors. Um, so I've got her arm, her body, her hair. I just need to do her legs and the jar. And then she will be done and I can start work on Pisces which is over here somewhere hidden so yeah I'm very happy with this one all right on to plans so I think I've already told you this week what I'm planning to do for my magical stitches prompts uh, then when I get done with that my first priority is going to be to work on the humbug and get that done so I can get it passed on to the next person. And then after that, it's just a matter of whatever's catching my fancy. I'm really, really liking the zodiac signs um, stitch along right now. I'm really liking Clouds Factory, There Is No Planet B. I am chomping at the bit to get started on uh, the Wonders of the Solar System stitch along. I need to get caught up on the temperature stitch along. So many things. Um, yeah. Sense and Sensibility is not starting for a little bit. I don't remember the date on that. I had originally said I thought I, I thought that I thought it started this week, and that was incorrect. Um, which is good because that gives me more time to finish The Lightning Thief before I have to start listening to Sense and Sensibility as well. In terms of media and what I'm reading and what I'm watching, I, it's pretty much the same as last week. I'm really kind of struggling my way through uh, Code Geass, so I didn't watch much of it this week. I rewatched Black Butler again for like the third or fourth time. Um, but when I work on Deal Struck, I, I, I love, love, love if I'm working on something that, that is based off a television show or a book or something to to watch or read that while I'm working on it and so I pulled that out and I want to watch Black Butler. Um, I gotta be careful so I don't get sick of it because it's gonna take me five years. And, uh, uh, anyway, I started A Court of Mist and Fury which is the second book in the series The Court of Thorn and Roses. Um, that's about it for media stuff. I've told you what I'm doing for Magical Stitches. I've told you what I'm doing this week. Two weeks from now, Valentine's week, I am planning something special. 
I hate Valentine's Day. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, I never really liked it, uh, even before I was terminally single, but five years ago, my mom passed away on Valentine's Day, so it is not a happy day for me. Um, it's only been the last couple of years that I haven't taken the day off work and stayed holed up in my house all day on Valentine's Day. Uh, this year, it's falling on a Sunday, I believe. So I'm going to be home. So I've decided that my whips that week are all going to be stuff that reminds me of my mom. So doesn't matter what the magical stitches prompts are going to be that week. Doesn't matter where I am on anything else. I've picked out four patterns that I'm going to work on. Uh, not going to show them to you now. I will show you them to you next week in plans. Um, but I will say you've seen two of them today. So, but my mom loved all things beachy and luau and umbrella drink, and she was obsessed with flamingos. So, you will see all of those things pop up that week. So yes, Valentine's week is going to be my, it's five o'clock somewhere a week. And um, we're just gonna have some fun working on some laid back beachy stuff that my mom would have loved. Uh, in fact, some of these patterns, I think, no, I'm not working on any of those. I do have some patterns that are the, along that theme that I had bought to make for her. Uh, before she passed away, which tells you how old they are, but I don't think I'm actually going to be working on any of those So yeah, that'll give you something to look forward to uh, I hope at least I think that you find it an intriguing theme week and That's all for today Twi Two weeks in a row two weeks in a row. She hasn't bothered me So, I guess, sorry, you don't get any daily dose of Lexi today. She was here at the very beginning, um, before I started recording. You would have gotten a lovely shot of her nose because she was right up in front of the camera. But for some reason, when the camera started, she decided she was going to be shy today. So, no Lexi. Sorry. Uh, I hope that doesn't disappoint you. Uh, anyway, that's it. And so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time. Bye. Yes, that's right. That's the camera. <laughs>